Hello everybody and welcome to Sins of a Soda Empire the Entrenchment DLC Majiga thing and uh, well I did say I was looking for something else to do uh, with the absence of uh, free space and uh, Sniper Elite now done I was just running out of games and uh, this appeared before me as a possible um, candidate, shall we say. Now, as you can see, I did try one before I bought Entrenchment, but with Entrenchment it's not a valid save file. This is the one I'm currently doing at the moment. And as you can see, this is a rather large one, which I named appropriately the big one. Um, I've been playing it for 4 hours 36 minutes, and that was before I went away on holiday. Uh, I did go on it again today quickly um, to do a little check and uh, yeah just had a little play around trying to get myself um, you know reacquainted but as you can see there are a load of different uh, scenarios and missions well they're not missions but you can see look each one of these has their name now, as far as I remember, there's a way. There you go. You got large ones. Here we go. Look, you see. You can do it random, or you can use all of these different uh, things. So we're going to do a large one, um, mainly because they're the uh, they'll last the longest. But I don't know if I want a huge one because you can see there's one star, so there's only one solar system but it has 88 planets. This one has 5 solar systems, 132 planets. That's a lot of planets. <laughs> and uh, you go, the galaxy is a big place. Well, yes it is, especially when you're playing something like that. So, I'm thinking maybe something along the lines of this. So we've got a multi one, but it's not quite multi that big. It's multi that size, um, which I think would probably be more appropriate. All these other ones are like, uh, you know, set up ones. So here we go. We'll do this. We'll do uh, one of these. Now I'm going to play as the uh, TEC. They're the um, human faction in this. There are three factions. There are the Vasari. They're effectively the most alien guys. The Advent, I can't remember what they were. Um, but they're like human variants or something and uh, you get to choose your thing and I have a knack for this one in blue I like the blue now I could put one of these AI teams on my team which I tend to do sometimes just so I don't get overwhelmed but uh, I'm not going to do it this time it's just going to be normal so nothing to uh, I'm going to change the colour of this one what have we got we don't really have a... we've got a red yeah that's better uh, I just want to have clearly differentiated colours that's all so yeah large multi-system uh, scenario I'm playing as a TEC everything else is uh, AI and uh, I'm on my own for once so let's get started. Now I'll try and explain as much as I can for those of you who don't know this game on the on the move, but uh, don't expect too much. So here we go. Just do a quick zoom out. Right now, this is our home planet. Now, because we don't know what else is around, here are the other stars, but we can't see any planets in them. We know for a fact that there are two planets next door to us. Now as you'll see in a moment once I uh, build a couple of scout frigates um, I have to excuse the twitchiness sometimes the mouse is very twitchy in this um, we'll be able to phase there, jump I'll you, find right. it. you you just right click on, my way. on that uh, planet and uh, the AI will do it automatically 
Now normally what I do is I jump I'm there and then there. bring them straight back there, because all they need to do is I'll scout. They don't need to fight because they're not very good at that. Direction. Not many On scout frigates are. In fact none of them are. But here you can see we've got a crystal extractor and you have to select these and build them separately. There is a way of doing it uh, without pressing on them. I think you do it through... It's here. You do it through here. You just double click or you just click once on each of those. So this uh, thinging, here you go, we've got two pirate vessels. we got a Krosovo siege frigate. Krosovo siege frigate. They're used mainly for bombarding planets to remove enemy colonies. And we also had one Cobalt uh, cruiser, light cruiser, light frigate even. Um, to get these, you have to move up in your technologies. But to do that, you need a technology building. And you'll see now, this is not a planet. This is a Charubidis. Um, so you can't actually do anything with it. You can move your forces through there. But as you can see, the map Reporting has expanded. Now from this one, the air is only one way to go. Complete. That way. To that planet. But from here, you can see we've got three other Structure planets. Complete. Now at the beginning, it tends to be a bit of a rush. Everyone tries to... Uh, the right direction. Speed off to the nearest um, planets. Which is, of course, the wisest thing to do. So we're going to build a uh, civic research lab to start with. Now you just click it and the uh, building ships fly away and do it themselves so you don't actually have to press anything. So I'm going to create a fleet if I can remember how. I think it's here. Yeah, there we go. Reporting for duty. And, you just, and if you uh, click them and go into here you can select them to move all together. Uh, where is it? I think it may... Okay. Uh, you Get can see order. this ship joined this fleet automatically um, because I think it's one of these. This is turned on, yeah. But I don't know. There's a way of making them move all together. All loose, all tight, standard. I'll try and find that again, but uh, we're going to see our first glimpse of combat here. Now, they'll be on auto attack to start with. I'm just going to send one of them off against the uh, siege frigate, two against that frigate. And you can zoom right in. This is all real time. It's like Total War, only you don't get turns, effectively. Everything's done, you know, on the go. So you can see this is uh, the same sort of species as ours, you can say. They're humans, which is why we've got the got same job, uh, ships. Obviously these battles are very low key, there's not much to fight over, two ships, Structure and that's complete. about it. I'm looking for this uh, colony frigate, which you need to build a colony. Ready for now I'm just going to look while these are fighting, because there's not much what you now? can do uh, with these, and just let them you just let them slog it out really. Give the order. I'm gonna, here we go, Yeah, you right click that, and uh, now Give this fleet order. will all phase jump at the same time. Got a job for me? Which is uh, good if you've got a much larger fleet and you're pursuing an enemy or you're f uh, moving into a, an enemy system because the last thing you want is all the light frigates going off on their own and then the heavy cruisers and then the battleships coming afterwards because the light cruisers always get away first. So we're going to build a capital ship factory. This is I'm just doing what I uh, normally do. If those of you who play this, if you've got any like um, pro players, whatever, just let me know, uh, give me tips and whatever. But uh, here you'll notice that I can already uh, select one of the ships, this is all the capital ships, but the uh, factory itself is not actually built. Now the game allows you to do that in a sense that you can queue things for buildings which don't Where's exist as long as they're being constructed. So here I get to choose. Now this is my favourite one because they're like effectively how battleships should be. Heavy, heavy weapons, lots of armor, um, and you know, strong fighting battleships. This one is a carrier, so instead of firing, well, it has guns and whatever, but it's more of a aircraft carrier to say. Um, and these two are support ships, uh, which have different. You see all the in green. I can't 
go up and do it. In green, you've got the shield, shield recharge, EMP charge, magnetize, and stuff. They're all uh, like buffs for your friendly ships, or uh, Structure complete. I don't know what the word is for, for when it's damaging to the enemy. So here you can see we've got uh, our, it was a civilian one I believe, and we can select these research. I'm going to select this one. Each one has two stages, or most of them have two stages. So you can see, you go two, two, whatever. Um, but it costs uh, it costs money, uh, metal and crystals to research. Now that little yellow bar shows its progress. And uh, I want to really build another lab but you have to realize we've now maxed out the logistical slots uh, for this planet what that means is that uh, no more buildings you, in that uh, yes, logistics thing can be built so none of uh, in this button to say can be built so we can't have a trade port we can't have a refinery unless we destroy one of these buildings or one of these mines so I'm just going to select a capital ship. Up here is your capital ship cruise. Up there is your overall ship number cruise. So that's how many ships you can have. Um, obviously each ship has a different number, how many numbers that takes down. Capital ships tend to take down 50. Um, Structure complete. So you can see I've used up all the capital ship crews I have and I've used up all the f uh, 50 fleet supply points. Ready and you just right click on this planet with this frigate what now? and he'll uh, I'll do my hop best. along and have a look. For I'm going to send this uh, on my scout way. frigate on a little I'll find the way. I'm all run around there. mission. To do that, to set multiple waypoints, just hold down shift like you would in a total war. And uh, they'll head Where off and do that and return, of course. Okay, don't press S because on there's obviously shortcuts. I'm I'll just send him there, there and back again. Uh, to make sure. So the capital ship is being built, it's about three quarters done. A planet's been acquired, which is this. It's not really a planet, it's an asteroid, but uh, doesn't really matter. Now, there's now currently, you can see on here, planet health goes up over time um, and the population is only five. Tax income is also 2.2. There was another one, a way of seeing more details, but I've forgotten. Because I haven't played this in a long time. Of war are upon us. Right, so now you'll see the uh, battleship. Good day, Commander. I was planning on getting a mod for this, which uh, boosts the size of the battleships massively and decreases the size of the frigates and whatever. Right now they're all about the same size, but uh, I didn't decide to do that. Now here you can see uh, each attribute or added bonus. Um, the ships, battleships, can have. So you've got adaptive force field, flat burst, and gorse railgun. Uh, the railgun is strong against capital ships and uh, other larger ships. Anything below a frigate, and uh, I mean, it can't target finished. fighters with uh, with one of those. I'm just going to build these uh, mining things. It's always important to do those first, otherwise, before you know it. Found a colonizable planet. Here we go. Now this planet here also only has pirates so I want to get over there as quickly as possible but I'm not going to take these ships because I forever I, I don't know this might be controlled by another empire so I don't want to start moving ships away it's the wrong thing actually I don't need another colony frigate I can just use this one uh, these ones also they, they have defenses but uh, they're nothing to write home about here we've got uh, what appears to be space junk, I think it's called. Oh no, it's Perifas. Oh yeah, it's space junk. But it also has two asteroids. Now if you bring your colony frigate in, you can build on those uh, there. But I'm not going to do that just for now. Right now I'm just going to try and build up the infrastructures of my two planets I have here. Um, I think this research should be done. Good. Um, now to use this planet, I think it's a volcanic planet, yeah. You can't just... Uh, colonize them straight away. For duty. You can only colonize the planets uh, like these ones where I don't know what it's called, it's a Terran planet isn't it? Yeah. Uh, which is you know water based but with uh, grasslands or whatever. So to uh, colonize volcanic ones you have to go I can't remember where it is, here you go, you have to select this and then you'll be able to do that. 
but you need, if you say, if you saw, sorry, it says it requires two civic research station structures, so we need two of these, but of course I can't build uh, any more of those, I just realised we've got a military lab as well. Uh, we'll do the laser amplification first, we've got to watch out for your things, before you know it, you've been clicking all of these and you've got no resources left to build ships and no money, so it's very, I mean I made that mistake a lot when I uh, first started. I just create a fleet with this ship, and uh, what you do is you just select. You have to. There is probably a way of. Uh, sometimes a ship. Oh, I remember actually. To select your flagship, just make sure you've got it selected, and then do uh, create fleet. Otherwise, you might end up with a frigate as your flagship, which is a. Uh, not ideal. To start with, I think I'm probably going to put adaptive force field down because I don't foresee any uh, capital ship combat for a little while. Uh, it does escalate quite quickly. So here we have another colonizable planet, but it's another asteroid. It's controlled by pirates um, or raiders, whatever you fancy to call them. Now this fleet's going to head off to what's this one called? Gromov. Our home planet's called Gethsanami. Gethsanme? Gethsanme? I don't know. Uh, an Agamemnon. Nice. I recognise that name from somewhere. It's some sort of god or something, I think. But anyway. Um, I would like to. But. Uh, da -da -da. I'll try and explain what was introduced in Entrenchment as well, but. I'm just trying to. We'll build another Civic One Lair for now. Research complete. But also. If you ever play this game, remember to do this. This is your fleet logistics tab. And this is where you can improve the amount of capital ships you have. Every one of these is your capital ships. Um, every one of these is your, you know, general fleet, whatever. Unless I've got those two mixed up, I'm just going to check. Do, 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 do. Increase? No. Yeah, that's all right. Capital ships, general fleet. So right now I could use some more slots, so you upgrade this, you click it, and it'll do it like it would a uh, research. Now our fleet is Ready for moving together, so they'll all hyper jump, uh, phase jump as it's called in this, uh, around about the same time. Not necessarily identically at the same time, um, but it will be a lot less than it would be um, yeah, if they were not jumping together. Now we've just seen another ship from a different nation. They're called the Nithium Rebels. Uh, of course we're automatically at war with them because everyone's at war with each other at the moment but it is just a scout frigate. So he's gonna hop into our home system. These are our Gorse weapon platforms. They're effectively just giant guns. Um, can't be used against fighters or anything like that. Plotting Only uh, you know. You can actually see though they spent a lot of time because not every planet is on the same plane. And those stars up there, wherever the other stars are in this game, are not necessarily on the same plane, which is a, a nice touch. So I'm going to send... Uh, actually, I've just realised there's a lot more enemy ships here than I thought, so we're going to retreat. And if you want to retreat quickly, turn off the uh, move together. Because otherwise they'll all sit in high in uh, the phase thing, waiting Good to jump. Day, Commander. I, always th I only thought there was two here, but never mind. As you can see, this Research ship managed to uh, run the gauntlet, as you can see, but it's very heavily damaged. This thing's just going to try and take it out. I wouldn't expect it to. That. It's only got like one little they don't look mini friendly. laser gun. If that. <sighs> right, it looks like we can actually improve our logistics here. I must have uh, run out of money to start with. Active. This ship's probably not going to suffer too badly from uh, any of these. Uh, it's just too big for them to. You'd need a lot of these smaller ships to. Um, these flak frigates are much more effective against uh, enemy fighters. This is uh, good. It's effectively like a, a missile launcher. Now, if you want the um, AI to use its uh, abilities on its own. Yeah, the ship abilities. You leave this with this little circle thing. If you want to turn it off, you right click it and then you have to do it yourself. Right, so obviously you've seen uh, 
We're going to need some more ships to 